Hi there. So in, in this video, I'm going to show you how when you create a style, custom style in ArcGIS Pro, you can actually push that style to use in ArcGIS Online in your web maps. Uh, the, uh, the, I mean, the There are lots of, um, lots, quite a few styles available in terms of sort of basic vector polygons and stuff uh, that are in your web maps that you can choose from. Uh, but what if you've got something in ArcGIS Pro that you want to sort of push up to ArcGIS Online and uh, and really just expand on the styles available? So the, the way you do that, if we start kind of from the beginning in terms of making a style. So what you can do to make a new style, first of all, I've got the catalog sort of pane open here and you can see I've created uh, some styles previously, a demo style and a, one I've got some 3D UK signs for. That'll be for another video. So so under, under style, you can see you've got add new and import. So someone may have sent you one or something, or, or you, um, uh, you, you, you want to add something uh, that's already on your system. Uh, so we'll do a new, uh, make it a new style rather than a mobile one. Uh, we'll just put it in that temp folder, that's okay. So it's my new Agol style for one of a, better name but um, hopefully you get the drift so we've got this new style here and then once you've uh, added it like that within this project it's actually it actually becomes um, automatically inside the, the, the project so it's been added so that's why it comes up remove from project so by default it, as soon as you create a new one in a project it uh, slots it in uh, you can already see share as web style uh, but there's actually nothing there uh, there's n nothing in that so let's just change these uh, what about these these sort of wiggly lines for um, these sites of special scientific interest these polygons so let's make in let's make some kind of new polygon style so <clears throat> in symbology uh, let's go to symbol um, actually that's okay yeah um, how about we I'm literally just thinking of just some change so let's do um, yeah so you can see there's a, some that demo styles there were already so let's make this something a bit different so how about uh, about this mulch one that looks interesting <clears throat> and let's go to properties and let's make some kind of change here so let's add an effect right across it maybe let's do a wavy effect um, a sort of wavier line if you apply this we should get a there you go you see it's got a, a sort of wavy border bouncy border there so that's a wave effect um, and uh, we can uh, I think we can do a few other changes in here but hopefully you, you, you get the, the sort of idea um, but I think that's all I'm gonna do just to um, I might exaggerate that uh, that waveform effect actually so let's uh, let's increase the amplitude of those. Well, you can see what is going to happen. It's really going to in increase that uh, the sort of jagginess of it. And and let's spread them out a bit more. Yeah, you know. So there's a bigger gap in the peaks and troughs. There, there we go. That looks a bit uh, looks a bit different. So I'd, I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist in. Um, Aren't just online, particularly the idea of changing the, the wave effect and form, etc. So w w once you've done that, and of course in styles, you then go to these three bars at the top, you see, and say save symbol to style. So I click on that. Now you see it's got style here. It could go straight to the favorites, or it could go, you could point it to the new one that you've just made. So it will list the style because it's part of the project uh, there. So I'm going to add it to that, and I'm, I'm going to call this, I don't know, fancy. Um, polygon border 
demo or something. <clears throat> I really should come up with better names. But anyway, you would probably have a, perhaps it's, you know, you'd, it would be your Trip SI style or something, you, you, you know, what, whatever it, it's um, what you want. I haven't got any categories. So um, yeah, automatically put the tags in and the, the keys auto generated. So I don't need to worry about that. So that's now gone, up, gone into that um, uh, new Eagle style. So let's just clear the decks a bit. So if we, um, so in this, this style here, as soon as you double click and it opens a catalog view, you can see that in, in here there is one style class, which is a polygon symbol and there it is. Okay, there's the definition. So that's looking at it from that sort of folder view so you can see what's inside, you know, in, in a catalog view. Now, in order to publish, you, you have to be in this catalog sort of pane view. Um, and there you can share as web style. So I'm now going to force that up to Archers Online. I'm already connected to Archers Online. So I'm, I'm going to just leave it at that name. Um, I don't know, demo of adding new custom style. Archers Pro. Oh, not typing great today, not enough coffee. Uh, it's a 2D style. Now there are some issues with 3D. I haven't had much luck actually publish 3D styles. Um, I'll, I'll continue having a look at that, but at the moment it's um, the, the 2D certainly seems okay. Uh, I'm sure there's some limitations at some point, but um, I, I haven't hit them yet. I, I have created a folder actually. So, um, uh, so if, sorry. So I could I could put it direct into a folder. Uh, there it is, there it's appeared now. So I have created one which I called my custom styles, you see. So that's already exists. So now, um, and I can share it in particular groups. I'll set it to everyone so everyone can see it. Uh, you, you can analyze if you want, it should be pretty straightforward because it's default, and then share. And it shouldn't take too long, depending on the complexity of course. And, um, and now it uploads. So it didn't take long at all. Um, I didn't pause the video or anything. Um, and now that's there. So let's just minimize and you can see the styles. So effectively, it, 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 there's two files that it that it creates um, with um, packed with JSON uh, and one that just is something that you could, uh, the desktop style one, for example, you could access, you could download um, for, for, for use elsewhere uh, and the style itself is the one that gets used um, in Eagle. So if we now go to my web map, so this is a very simple web map as you can see and I've got these um, historic England battlefields and now I want to do is apply what I just uploaded. So the way to do that is in edit style, edit layer style, um, you click on style options and you see you've got symbol style, it's just telling you what it is at the moment. We'll click on the uh, pencil edit button and it'll come up with the usual place where you change stuff. Click on the basic uh, polygon, that sort of style. And then the, the key bit here is to press the plus sign, you see it says add styles. So you press plus and what it will do is go off, find the styles and there it is. So it says, oh, this is one, one that's added. Is this what you're talking about? Yes, it is. So I'm going to select it and click add and there it is so now it's in there so what I can now select that and you see it you see it's got that rather long name that I created and then it says done it did have a message there actually what was that okay so the, these new symbols are not compatible with all apps that I mean that's a good good point that don't forget there's mobile styles as well that's different when I created the style so I haven't been through every single possibility here to see if they all work. You're going to have to try it and, and see. And, and I did I did think that there's there's no way everything would, would be compatible um, with all the Esri apps. I mean, uh, unfortunately, the Esri apps aren't really aligned at the moment. There's different sort of functionality and different support for things in different ways, such as styles right across the um, sort of Esri apps board. Hopefully one day everything will be aligned. But at the moment, yeah, just because it works in one app doesn't necessarily mean it works in all. 
Um, so there, there's all the settings. You can change some of it, for, for example, the transparency, which is uh, pretty. Can you change that fully? Um, no, you'd probably have to set the style at that point, actually, when you upload. So you've got to, you've got to you know, work out exactly what you want to do. Press done, press done. And um, yeah, and, and there you go. So that's Battle of Bosworth in this kind of weird, slightly unusual style. And it has the, um, actually, in the, you noticed in the legend that was updated. Uh, so that's showing style as well. Um, so that's how you get it in. And just, just as a final point about styles, if we go back to the styles here, um, one thing to note is that when I created the style, it just went straight into this project, which is called Basic Lex Area. It's just a sort of basic map, few, few data sets for Leicester areas that I use for, for the Leicester area that I just use for these demos and tutorials. So, but what if this style is something you always wanted to load? Um, you know, just all the time for any project by default wanted it to be in, in there. So the, the, the way to do that is when you when you double click on it, when you double click on it, you can see where the actual style file is, is it, itself. And that's actually the sort of bit that you need to um, effectively set as a default style to load whenever you load a new project. So that's in this Y temp folder. So if I find, um, let's say if I add a folder connection, so I need to do this from the, uh, literally from the file itself, you see. So I'm gonna add this Y temp folder. Um, so I've got this kind of NAS, this network drive called, called Y temp, uh, called temp on, on, on Y drive. So I've now added that in as a folder connection. Now, if I scroll down inside that folder and find this, uh, my new Agil style, you see there it is. So when you right click that now, you get add to new projects. So what will happen is if I, if I now set that to add to new projects and now I've done it, from now on, whenever I create a new project in ArcGIS Pro, that style will now be loaded by, by default. So, but you have to do it from the from the folder connection, yeah, rather than the um, the sort of catalog pane. It has to has to sorry, it has to be from the folder connection rather than the um, list of uh, of sort of content items, you know, in the catalog. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I hope you um, find that useful. Getting your styles into um, ArcGIS Online from ArcGIS Pro, but yeah, be be aware. Make sure you test it and properly, you know, check what you want to happen. So if we wanted if we wanted transparency in here, I should have set it um, uh, in here in order to get it in ArcGIS Online, for example. So you may have a bit of trial and error, uh, but it, it does work fine and um, it's good results and great way to expand the styles in ArcGIS Online. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.